firstly, what is what actually is the reason behind this? Well, Senator Day has resigned, mm. and and under normal circumstances, that would be treated as a casual vacancy, and Family First could nominate his replacement. But there's an issue been raised about whether he's actually was qualified to be a candidate, and it's something to do with I understand with the contract mm -hmm. over the government paying for his office and who owned the building they're paying the money to. So there's a section 44 of the constitution and whether he's qualified to be a candidate <clears throat> and if he's not qualified to be a candidate then it's not a casual vacancy fam family first can't nominate the replacement mm -hmm. and we have seen two other similar cases on different grounds to do in nationality uh robert woods who was an ndp senator in the 1980s was disqualified and replaced by arena dunn and heather hill who was a one nation candidate in 98 was disqualified and lynn harris took her seat in both of those cases they recounted the votes on a slightly different basis, mm -hmm. but they recounted the votes and the second on the ticket would be elected. And if the same basis as the Heather Hill case was was used here, then the second family first candidate would be elected. And that's not one of the candidates who was put up for the, the casual vacancy, but they would still hold the seat. But there are further complications. Yeah, so the High Court has to, to look at the evidence as to whether this, sh this should be a disqualification. And then they've got another decision to make. Yeah, that's, having chosen a disqualification, the issue comes to a recount. If they go to a recount, the next step is there was only two family first candidates on the ballot paper. Mm. Therefore, were they entitled to have a group? Now, the question of the disqualification is a constitutional issue. The issue of the structure of the group is not a constitutional issue. It's an issue with interpretation of the Electoral Act. If the Electoral Act, if the commission had had only one candidate put, put mm. towards it as a, can, as a group, they wouldn't have been allowed. You needed two candidates to be a group. If one of those is disqualified, does that disqualify the structure of the ballot paper where there was mm. a group? Now, if you only just disqualified um, Bob Day, as they did in the previous cases, then most, nearly all of his preferences would go to the second candidate mm -hmm. and the second family first candidate was, was elected. If you said the group cannot exist, so family first should not have had a group above the line, mm -hmm. that the other candidate should have been offering the ungrouped column. Therefore, anyone who's voted one above the line, that vote can't count and it can't reach the second candidate, it would go by second and third preferences filled in by the voter above the line, which is to other parties. Mm -hmm. So if the step, if they go one further than the past cases, they invalidate the group, then the preferences get distributed to the other parties at the start of the count, and it becomes unclear who would win that seat. It certainly wouldn't be family first. Mm -hmm. On my quick estimates, it would be down to a contest between the fourth Labor candidate and the One Nation candidate. So, in other words, they, they were they were given a, a plumb position above the line, which if it's ruled that he's disqualified, they shouldn't have been allowed that position. And, I mean, you think it's a Liberal Party that would stand to benefit if, if that were proven and then the votes were, were counted in that new precedent way? It's, it's, it's in, setting in the a new, new precedent, isn't in it? In the new precedent way, I've, I've been trying to do some calculations, <laughs> yeah. it's a bit complex. But on my view, it would probably either be One Nation or the Labor Party oh, that okay. would replace him. It wouldn't be the Liberal Party right. on, on my quick estimates. I think the difficulty um, that will come up in this case is that the Commission can't reject a nomination. They've got two nominations. They accepted them in good faith. They've put them on the ballot paper. If you strike out the group, you are striking out... Uh, the, the, the High Court, in when Bob Day challenged the yeah. Senate reforms before the election, accepted the existence of groups that you can vote for a ticket and that's what the above-the-line box is. And if you've filled in a one above the line, you voted for all the candidates in their group. Yeah. Um, it, you're going to have to convince the High Court to go one step further and say, well, that group shouldn't have been there, yeah. therefore yeah. we will count their preferences to other parties uh, before we count their preference to the second candidate. Um, that's going to be quite quite a case. That's not a mm. case which relies on the Constitution. It's a case that relies on the interpretation of the Electoral Act. And as we said, no precedent for it. So with the High Court having to, to rule on all of this, how long could the process take? Uh, look, I would imagine they would expedite it. I think they would exp expedite the process to try and get it over and done with because they need to fill the vacancy. He has resigned. There's questions over his qualification. They would want to fill it easily. We have had disqualifications before, but they were filled by casual vacancies. Mm -hmm. Senator Jeannie Ferris resigned when there was questions over, in, over um, her in eligibility and she was appointed to her own vacancy, but that was a different issue. There was no question of the votes having to be recounted, nobody challenged it in the courts. So it's a different disqualification. In this case, I mean, the first step is, was he disqualified under Section 44 of the Constitution? If he was disqualified under Section 44 of the Constitution, should the votes be counted as they were in the two previous cases, Hill and in Woods? 
And if they decide that therefore they shouldn't have had a group, then that method of recounting will not be used. And instead, they will do a complete recount, but by first excluding all the above the line votes and going to other parties as preferences. ABC election analyst Anthony Green, thank you so much. Thank you.